All right, good morning, everybody, or afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. But welcome back to some more Cyberpunk. I uh, appreciate all the support you guys have been showing the series. I've been having a blast playing through this again. Um, you know, because we're actually kind of trying to do everything where uh, the first time I, you know, I, I skimmed through the story, beat the game real quick, and then we, we moved on. I'm uh, trying to take my time, really explore the game, do all the side quests, do all the, um, you know, do the gigs, which have actually been quite a bit of fun. Uh, get all the cyberware and stuff like that, because I barely, I barely put any upgrades into my body uh, the last time I played. And, uh, you know, even look into the, the, the crafting systems, all that. We're really just trying to dig into the game. Uh, there's so many systems in this game that are just so deep. Uh, but again, I appreciate everybody for coming and hanging out. Uh, let's get this uh, this show on the road. So we're going to be starting off. I actually, I had the money. So I want to go buy my new Sandevacine from, um, what's his face? Uh, Vic. He has a pretty damn good one. Um, I know that there's a better one in the game. I don't know what ripper doc i have to go to to get it from i think he's the uh people were saying it's the uh the dude that you punched um the evelyn parker dude i i, I don't remember when or where to even find him but uh maybe i should look for him does anybody know what part of town he's in because i could go check him out uh hall what's up brother how you doing man it's good to see you uh father Day's good man it was good i was here with you guys working mostly when am I playing Daisy again? I don't know. Tomorrow, maybe. Slaughterhouse. Satisfy your instincts. Daniel, what's up, man? Jig Jig Street. How the hell do you know what streets are what? That's Allen Street. Kennedy. I don't even know where walk. Actually, I do have an idea where she is. Over here. Is it this one here? Because Wa yeah, Wakako is uh, Wakako is here. There's a Ripper dock right there. Yeah, we we can go check. Check out that location real quick then. Dojo with the gifted brother. Thank you so much out here. Showing love to the community, man. I really appreciate it. Whoever receives that welcome, welcome to the fam. Okay, so I was gonna go over to Vic. But I'll go over and check out this location first. See if this is that other Ripper dock. Uh, so I am playing a ninja, like a real ninja stealth build. Stealth is kind of my thing. And uh, I try to play it in every game possible. Yeah, we're, we're playing a legit, like, ninja stealth build. I'm using swords, handguns, throwing knives, things like that. Stealth kills. The occasional snipe here and there. If need be. I want to be a full-fledged assassin, guys. But as you guys know, we just got... 
Jackie's bike last episode. Thank you so much. How you doing? There she is. It's been a long time. Kaku Akata, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find the moment, come see me. We must settle all our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well. You and that friend of yours. Until then. Yeah, I forgot. She, we, we were supposed to collect from her. I haven't got around to it, so we'll do it right now. Start, I'll start with, with her, yeah, we'll collect. Maybe we'll get a little extra money, too. Because, uh, I, I, the other Sand Devastating that I wanted was almost, it was 28000 guys. It was quite expensive. So I don't know how expensive, uh, Lukaku's is gonna be. Or, um, this other guy's. Appreciate you for popping by. Get a tear. So this is Japan Town, I believe, right? That's what they called it. Yeah, sure. Just walk right through it. Where's your cute little ass rushing off? Oh, Trying to see what's in this. Down. Treat yourself to a little R E L A X X X. Peace is French. Help us strengthen it by using Arasaka soldiers. Show me what those hands can do. Why'd you say it like that? Another way to live. Follow me. No. Oh. It's not. Hold on, chat, hold on. I thought he had something for sale. <laughs> I thought he was going to sell us some stuff. Like, he had the top secret. He was like, hey, you want some of this? I didn't know what it was. <laughs> oh, they got me, guys. They got me, chat. <laughs> oh I don't know, dude. Ah. <sighs> mm -hmm. Oh, dear God, what did I do, chat? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? So, so for those of you guys coming in, understand it was an accident. he had some uh brain dances available well that happened uh, we'll just we'll just pretend that never happened all right what happens on japan street stays on japan street chat <laughs> all right let's see She lives. Her office is in a pachinko Chicago. bar. Long time no see. So what brings you here? 
We have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Damn, nice. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Damn. So she just hooked it up, guys. She gave us, we got like almost $4,000 from that. On top of, we get a free upgrade. Been saving up my points. Um, let's see if we can get some more handgun damage too. Damage penalty. See, that might actually be nice. Give us a little bit more handgun range. Yeah, and this is what we're really aiming for. So we're gonna we're gonna save up some points. Right, let's go see this Ripper Doc. So there's two of them around here. There's one here. Got something that'll keep you hard. my chrome okay you sit be comfy and we will start okay so she said we got a new was it for hand smart link allows you to use smart targeting module and smart weapons directly links to you to upload. okay so i don't i don't use smart weapons so this doesn't really do anything for me It's all good. I forgot I got that mono wire now too. All right, so I'm gonna check the other Ripper docks because that's not the one I was looking for. further away than I thought. I would have drove if I would have known. Blade back, man. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Love the Blade Runner uh, type graphics. Yo, this game looks really, really good, man. That was the one thing I... Yeah, 
Oh, I think this is it, guys. Jig jig, right? Casa with the rain. Thank you so much, man. How you doing today, brother? Yeah, this is it. Fingers. The lead back again. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate the love, man. Yes! What is it? My Chrome could use some fine tuning. Here to serve. All right, so. Yep, this is the. Fifteen second cooldown, twenty five percent, twelve seconds increased crit. Yeah, so this is the one that everybody says is like the best. There was the other one that Victor sold too. It was the Dynalar Mark IV. Um, it slows time for I think four seconds longer, but the cooldown was really really long on it. Um, this one only has a fifteen second cooldown, which is absolutely crazy. So yeah, I think I'm gonna grab this one. Uh, Gamer Jacks, thank you so much. And again, um, Kasa, I appreciate the raid, brother. I hope you've been having a great day. I hope the streams are going good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, buy this. 28,000, guys, but it has mod slots on it. All right, let me see. Does this guy have any... So I don't know where to get optical camo from. I don't know if you need to go to a certain rip or not, because none of the ones I... From Cassius Ryder's rip or dock? Let me see, where is that? Oh, damn, they want me to go way up there for that. Okay, that's cool. He's got the levitating jumble jump. Yeah, I don't know if I want that one, no. I seen a video of a guy using it and it didn't look all that great, honestly. Hey! Here, King. What's the rug? Well, don't you look delicious. Come here and let me have a pick. And they don't play around here. Joyce, how you doing though, brother? Yeah, the levitating one, you kind of jump in the air and then you're just kind of floating in the air. It kind of makes you a target, you know what I mean? Oh, this is the one. Tiger Claws Dermal Imprint. Allows you to use smart target module. Okay, so it's the same one as the other one, but just $3.99. Alright, so we own it. Um, not going to use it, but... Alright, there we go. So we got our new Sandevastin, which I can actually mod... I do have a, a mod for it. Cyberware. Yep, right here. So I got these two. I have a prototype. My crit chance goes up. And then I have another one for defeating enemy restore stamina. <clears throat> Look how slow everybody moves now. Well, that's actually just how fast I'm moving now. And this shit lasts forever.
Only a 15 second cooldown. We're on point, guys. All right, let's do this. So we're gonna head back over to uh, the starter location here, and I'm gonna start uh, working on some missions. Uh, first things first, let's get our car back. I don't mind the boat motorcycle though. I, I actually like the motorcycle quite a bit. But uh, I do want to have the car just in case we need it. So our car was here. I'm going to be starting edge runners tonight. I, uh, I just finished, um, stranger things season four last night. Yo, when does the next season come guys? Johnny, you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. Don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident. Serious apologies regarding a traffic accident. Delabain Corporation invites you to the main headquarters in order to assess damages and arrange compensation. Okay. Well, the car is out of commission again. Now, there was a few other missions over here. So that's the one with Takamura. Then we have this uh, side mission here. Or, or talk, try talking to Barry. Oh, this is the cop. The ex-cop. No, I think I just got the start of the Delamain taxi service quest. Blue moon, red menace, purple horse, it's us, Cracks! After making waves in Tokyo, Sydney, and Paris, the next stop is on your doorstep. Night City, expect the unexpected! Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Preem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Just want to talk, that's all. I know it's what you need right now, even if you don't want to admit it. I can't turn back time for you, but I can sit next to you and listen. Remind you that you're not in this alone. Now hold on a sec. We barely know each other and you just rock up here talking to me about my problems. Where'd you get the idea something with me was up? You watching me? Someone send you? 
All right, you got me. Your friends asked me to drop in on you, so I thought, hey, why not? He's a stand-up guy. Who cares if he has shitty taste when it comes to street shredders? Come back just to get your ass kicked? Man, you really know how to cheer a guy up. Maybe those two asshats really are worried about me. All right, come on in. Talk, so let's talk. Yeah, bro, you should probably clean the place up a little bit, man. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. What's about Andrew? Hey, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. Hey man, I just did some shit on Japan Street. I'm not. You know, it is. I'm guessing what it is. things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes for shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. <sighs> Typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. I just... A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? And Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. Sam, according to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? <sighs> Normally. From old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. So then Andrew is more like a grandpa to you than a friend? Hmm. We can go that far. He was like a... I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my gram-grams. About our little talks. Time when everything had its proper place. You know? He was the last... living record... of those times. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. Andrew's knees before talking to the cop. Soya Silva, she's the door. Maybe my man will clean up his, his apartment. Yeah, that's 
that's pretty far away, actually. So we could probably take the train. Nope. Let's drive. so much for the gifted i appreciate it yeah i love rpgs like this i mean some people probably get bored with with stuff you know if they're like a lot of people are very action oriented they need like non-stop action in order to stay like engaged with the game i mean not so much like i could play a game for four or five hours straight and not shoot a single bullet and, and still really enjoy myself as long as there's like story context of what's going on um it's like, you know, for instance, I've been playing for over 30 minutes and I haven't really shot, I haven't even shot my gun. But it just makes you feel like the world's more realistic because not every day in real life is shooting bullets and killing people. But there was a fast travel point here. Why didn't I see it on the map? Or maybe I just unlocked it. best friend Andrew you were a tortoise but you listen like a person you were with me when uh, Grammy explained what was right you're our last Monday of a better world rest in peace Barry's not okay I mean if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning now you're starting to get it his friends have to know Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. So now I should be able to take the train all the way back. Ah, oh, free bites. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm definitely playing blow with right now, man. I'm looking forward to uh, trying Final Fantasy 16. That drops here in a few days. We're going to give it a shot. See what everybody thinks. Let's talk to these cops now. <laughs> it's you. Talk to Barry. 
He finally decided to get his shit together. I'll cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, so what did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Barry's in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny? The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle Bad's life too well. He made fun of him. So he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was... a tortoise. His best friend. A memento of his grandma. Till he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. You want proof? Niche in the columbarium speaks for itself. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about that tortoise like it was a normal person. I just think Mendez would react if Barry admitted that he was talking to animals. Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, that he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Damn. Damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the Petrochem board, so it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day. That little kid's t-shirt. Green with this funny yellow cat. I'm not allowed? What, what the fuck, Mo? Come on, man! I put in all the work! I'm not even... <laughs> Man, I got paid for helping, which wasn't even why I was doing it. I mean. It was cool that day. I hooked me up with some money, though. Now we're back up to already five, almost five thousand. Golden, how you doing? be mad guys what happens when you run out in the middle of the road right what happens when you don't look both ways <laughs>
What is life without its body? What are the beings of the net if not souls from beyond our plane of existence? I have heard their voices. Let they who yet live never cross that threshold, for their souls will join those ghostly ranks. You heard their voices? What did they say? They spoke not in the language of mortals, no. They howled, screaming in agony, forever removed from their earthly form. Among them was a woman, her voice of ice, Queen Lilith. Lilith? She was calm, but at the cost of her humanity. You ask, who opened these unholy gates of the abyss? No one's asking. And I answer you, the techno-necromancers of Alpha Centauri! I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that yeah, your mind the techno, is techno, techno necromancers. I bet you guys didn't even know there was such a thing. Yo, will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? I wonder if uh, Vic has those has camo. I don't know what Ripper Doc I have to go to to buy freaking camo from. So he's got grounding plates and armor. Yeah, no, no camo though. One in Pacifica. I mean, I probably don't have enough money to buy it right now, anyways. That's like the last piece of my assassin build that I want is the optical camo. Afterlife? Yeah, it is. Gina's got a new car for sale. Hey, interested in some work? Bitch. Know how to you what? A business opportunity. No Cargo transport. Get from A to B, quick and quiet. Interested? Sham is a lucky child. Hey, Sham. Whoa, watch out. I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Yeah, everything except my pay. Don't worry, there's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty free. Duty free and detail free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. Do you accept? So why not? Yeah, sure, I'm in. Good, I knew we'd find acceptable terms. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, no future. You see Once you locate it, Collect what you find inside, then call me for further instructions. Till then, I guess. This guy's working out of Afterlife, so it's gotta be a decent mission, you know what I mean? That's for all like the the top rollers, you know what I mean?
the over 200 likes on the stream. Fucking shoes that dude. Okay, so no gang revel or members here. Okay, so we're looking for a container. No future. Combat zone. seen the one it's not marked properly oh maybe maybe it might be in some of these little buildings future. Oh, shit. He's in rough shape, but alive. Let's see what Dennis has to say. Hey, got a status? Find the package? He's a little worse for wear, but no issues. What's next? I prepared a car for you. Put the man in the trunk and head to Northside. The address is in the GPS. Okay. One more thing. Watch for tigers. They've got their sights trained on your new companion. Wait, wait, wait what? <clears throat> Asshole hung up. Well, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the family. I really appreciate it, brother. an assassin cyberclaw assassin oh, i'm gonna leave this guy here real quick i'm gonna go clean him up
thought there was three. Yeah, there's two up there. I gonna move, man? It's already know if I try to take him, he's gonna aggro all these dudes. How fast was I really moving right there, man? Had to have been moving quick. All right, we should be clear. So I felt like that was pretty assassin. I feel like I feel like V would our RV currently would definitely make a uh, a good assassin. What do you think, Caspi? I got do I got that assassin vibe? Is that Octavio and Rancho Coronado? enough assassin speaking <laughs> we'll why not uh, using the mono wire uh, the mono wire is mainly for like like big big combat situations where I'm kind of like hack and slashing doesn't seem very low profile, you know what I mean? Whoa, dude, is that for me? Job's done. I see that. Well done. Excellent work. 
Holding in there, all right, Hariyoshi? They need to give me hope. So who is this guy? He'll tell you his story. Hariyoshi? In Japan, brain sergeant, top of all. Good instinct. One day, Tiger Crow boss needs surgery. But both die on table. Tiger Crows were very angry. I hide in boat, swim to America. Here, Dennis saved me. But there is secret. I killed Tiger Crow boss on purpose. World best surgeon make no mistake. Mm. Early warning about the Tigers would have been nice. I had a hunch you'd manage this just fine. Given that you're here now, I see I was right. This is all very heartwarming, but you haven't paid me yet. I know, here. May this blade serve you well. Scalpel? Wow. So this act this blade does electrical damage. Okay. And it actually increases electrical damage while a sand devastine is active. Increased crit chance by 50% and hits applied bleeding. That is really good. That is a good sword, man. All right, let's do it. All right, nice little side quest there for sure. Now Pacifica, where the hell is Pacifica? Oh, Pacifica's down here. We could go price the optical camo. But I think I'm gonna knock out a gig. We gotta, we gotta make some money. We gotta get some money going. Cause I know 6,000 is not gonna be able to cut it anyways. So let's go over and knock out this cyber psycho real quick. I might do this cyber psycho and this gig here. Just knock out all three of those. And then maybe we'll check out this side quest here. Um, and that should give us a decent bit of money, I'm thinking. SSA, you have a great rest of your day at work. Now, going for the Cyber Psycho, we want to make sure that we put our non-lethal mod in so we can't kill anything. E while on the bike. Not doing anything, George. Cyber Soak actually sent a patrol this time. Uh, been a few hours and no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced or... Anyway, check it out for me. Uh, if he zeroed the badges, then there's no way in hell Max is going to bring him in alive. Um, we're the best chance he's got of getting out of this in one piece. Right there. 
Oh, shit. Look around. Oh, she's got another car for sale, too. Body disposal? You can, uh, tell me I can hide bodies in there. There we go. the clear to kill system hmm. man insurance policy PTSD shield could you imagine that guys so this guy went through it like um he was in a company and they have insurance policy which gave him a PTSD shield which protected like his mind from obviously the PTSD and due to because he lost his job or whatever they canceled his PTSD shield and he lost his fucking mind current appointment wait time is 756 days that's crazy
So Reyes has got that van for sale. And a gig. Without cold but alive, transferring you to data I gathered. Uh, looks like it was an ex merc working for some corp. Uh, as soon as he stopped being useful, they tossed him out on the street. Uh, guy kept his combat implants, uh, had PTSD, stopped taking his meds. You can fill in the blanks. I could easily break into the cop cars. We still haven't met with Takamura, champ. <laughs> I've been putting it off. Like, I haven't even... Literally, we finished the prologue. I, this is the first story mission after, like, the, the entry... and Like, the prologue of the game. So I technically haven't even really started the game yet. Don't forget to sell all the junk I pick up. Yeah, that is true, Casper. I always forget about that jump tap. Now that Edge Runners show there for Cyberpunk, is there any character connections between like the game and the show? Like any of the fixers or anything like that? Oh, yeah, that's cool. I'm excited to check that out. Lightly ask you to get the hell out of the way. Move. still alive because I forgot to take off my uh, my non-lethal cyberware I started seeing some action, got some mushroom out out there, go see what okay. Oh, nice, got another car for us. Uh, 
All right, let me get my non-lethal thing back equipped. So it's, it's pretty, this has the same thing. Did that, was there a person in that car? What's this? Hmm. A maelstrom. Huh. Uh, shock and blood loss due to multiple lacerations. All that crit damage, baby. All that stealth crit damage is beautiful. So we gotta read the shard. Dude, you don't you don't look that bad, bro. Well, I I always do that. I always accidentally call her. See you around. Bye, me. Remember, the, the, media, the media lies. lies. Let's go ahead and message her. Was Valentino, uh, not a Malisterner. Borg uh, Fiend must have had an axe to grind with him because they stuffed him with implants like a Christmas turkey just to watch and wait for him to blow. Uh, same would happen if anybody chipped that fast, but he didn't have time to adjust. The wear just turned him into him psycho. Good thing is he still had a little self control left, meant I could take him down quietly. That worked out nice. All 
All right, now we got this gig up north. We're gonna no knock out real quick. Get my uh, automatically highlight enemies who have detected you. Maelstrom initiation. Want to know more? Check what I attached. Got some paparazzi uh, work where you need to get my hands on a recording of the Maelstrom initiation ceremony. Um, to get into the gang, you need to undergo an optic nerve operation, a rite of passage of sorts, footage of the whole thing. That's what I'm paying for. I got a tip. You can just... Just such a real out the, the clinic. It's a place that all the recruits under the knife for the first time. Ops rooms are fitted with cams too. It could be a file. Okay, so we just got to get in here. Deal footage of their initiations. You had high enough. If I had a cyber deck, I could probably open that. I could open it like that. Aha, bitch. Knock out that camera and that lady. I might be able to get better and better on this side. Thank you. 
were trying to kill my ass, weren't they? Got the data. Thanks, V. Get closed. Stir up the hornet's nest right there. I had a feeling that guy was going to come back around and see me from behind when I was uh, hitting it, but it's all good. Okay, so we're going to head back. Um, or we can actually take a train down. I don't have anything unlocked down near Pacifica, so we'll head to like down here, like El Coyote Kojo. Hey, castle steak! Pushing hard, man. stuff. Oscar, I'll just loot this whole place out. We use the money anyways. All the guns and shit we can get in here. Almost a thousand eddies in that safe there. Yeah, I feel like we got a decent a decent bit right there. Obviously, it wasn't it wasn't crazy, but a decent bit. Yeah, we can actually go right here, and then I'll travel over to uh, Pacifica from here. Sell all that stuff we just picked up, and hopefully, be able to get ourselves uh, the final piece to my build. 
The mono wire is absolutely insanity. Like the the thing that makes the mono wire crazy powerful is its range. Like it is crazy how much range that thing has. Go ahead and mark this ripper dock. I was driving like this, I was pushing E and it didn't, it didn't do anything and I see it. Name's V. And what? You no, know, pleased to meet you? I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? No, fuck you. Call me. I was gonna say, I, 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 yeah, somebody said something about the wanted system, and I was like, uh, I thought they said in the new update they're gonna be overhauling the wanted system. Do anything, dude. We ask you listen that was I ain't. I barely ran him over. Do I have ray tracing on? No, I turned it off. Hello. Looking to get chipped. Mm-hmm. And? And? What? You're a ripper, aren't you? Yes. For my people. I'll make it worth your while. Is that so? Worth it by how much? Okay, let's see. Okay, so there's Optical Camo. Um, he doesn't have a legendary one. Maybe I'm not a high, high enough level for the legendary one to show up. Or is there no legendary? Is, is this the only optical camo? Cool down 60 seconds. Yeah, I enabled DLSS. It's not that expensive either. It's only 10,000, guys. Only 10,000.
Oh, Legendary is at Santo Domingo Ripper? And there's a side job over there, too. Wanna go see what the difference is between the... Because I can afford that one right now, but... If I could save my eddies and... Just get the better one. as we reach that. Now, another reason why, uh, just so you guys know, another reason why a lot of this stuff seems easy for me, right now, like, I'm really just slicing through these dudes like like, like butter, is because um, I did a new game plus. Now, the, the, the enemies in this game are region-based. Like, the levels of difficulty is based on, like, location in the game. There's no, like, scaling. So, like, in the starter area where I am right now working for Regina, all Regina's, like, levels and areas and stuff like that are really, really low. So all the enemies are really, really low level. But as I start going into, um... As I start going into other areas of the map, you're going to start seeing the enemies are going to get um, tankier and tankier. But because we did that new game plus, I'm like level 30 something, you know, fighting guys that are probably like level 10, 5 and shit like that. What the difficulty is because in New Game Plus, um, all the enemies like scale, what or they the the damage scales for some reason. And what ended up happening is when I put it on hard, um, like my damage is balanced, but then the enemies kill me in one hit, one or two hits. It's absolutely ridiculous uh, because my armor is still the very early game armor. Uh, I feel like once I have later game armor, I'll be good, but yeah, right now it's I can't even play it on hard. I get stuck on missions. Obviously, because the game's not designed for New Game Plus, so there's, there's, there's issues, but... Trans mods, yeah, yeah. I, I've messed with them a little bit. I've messed with them a little bit. Uh, the outfit I'm wearing right now is actually transmogged. Some ripper work done. Let's see. Uh huh. Let's have I a little tanto catch, as a throwing knife.
Yeah, that's actually how I've been playing. Um, I'm using the knife, a sword, and the uh, suppressed pistol. So here it is. Optical Camo Legendary. Grants invisibility for 15 seconds, 45 second cooldown. So five seconds longer of invisibility, 15 seconds shorter on the cooldown. Yeah, it's twenty-eight thousand. So let me, let me. I, I don't think I got it right now. Obviously. Uh, what else does he have? So there's the other optical camo. Grants immunity to bleeding, and then subdermal armor. Think about grabbing this armor upgrade too at some point. All right, let's sell some stuff though. Some of these things I kind of want to break down at some point for uh, resources for crafting later, but right now I just need money. I'll start focusing on crafting once I get my uh, my kit. I'm 2k short right now, guys. 2k. Maxi wear motorcycle suit. Thermal resistance, 11 block damage. I'm actually going to throw that on. Uh, and we got some new boots here, which are way more armor than what I currently have on. Oh, man, that old edge runner jacket looks sick. Um, get my gear squirt over here. Now it's got that block resistance built into it. This also has block resistance. These boots are huge, huge, huge armor. Oh, also, I got these recon grenades. I didn't even know these were a thing. Um, you can like throw them into a room and it'll scan um for enemies and stuff. I, I should probably I want I, I want to try to find out how to get more of those because yeah, they're quite they're quite cool. Okay, so I got all the money I need. Yeah, old that dreadnought jacket, that looks cool. And then sell all junk. Sell these the duplicates, right? Yep. Sell the dupe. All right, so we got all the money we need. We're sitting at 31k. I should be able to get my optical camo now. Boom. And I'm still a thousand short from getting that armor upgrade. I did see a side quest right here, though. Let's go check this out. Yeah, the mods, I was going to sell the mods, but they don't really sell for much. And I think, I, I never, you know, I was like, oh, I'll hold on to them just in case I want to use some of them later on or play around with different builds.
Is that a trick question? This is a party, right? Invitation only. For those who bleed red, white, and blue. So fuck off. Chill. Just wanted to have a good time. Drink a beer, smoke. This looks like a fucking neighborhood picnic to you. Chum, you're a little tense. Something wrong. Problems at home. Oh, you're a jokester, huh? You looking for a good laugh? Yeah, we all want a good laugh, Walker. Such a nice day, everyone having a good time. Like a little 4th of July. Be a shame to tell Gunner someone fucked it up, you know? Yeah, I know. Fine. That's my tomb. Go drink, enjoy yourself. Celebrate that decent score of yours. Got some kind of competition going on? Yeah. Lead spit kind. I want it. Shit out of luck. We're about to call it. What? You scared I'd leave you all in the dust. You know who you're fucking talking to? Hmm? I've been deployed three times. Three! three I fought times. on the front lines. Easy walker. What'd I say, huh? We're just here to have a good time. We got something to prove. Be our guest. <laughs> It'll be fun. And the rules of the game? Now this ain't your average shooting match. You gotta have a good eye, but an even stronger head. Because? Because we all drink around before each shot. To Gunner, the new boss in town. I like the sound of that. Anything else I should know? Four stations. You shoot at the targets with Holt's face in the time limit. The more bootlickers you pop, the better. High score so far belongs to Walker. 43 points. You beat him, prize is yours. Let's shoot this shit out of Holt. Just as I thought. You look to me like a show-off. Let's see what you got. Take this revolver. Use it if you want your shots to count. We're testing skill, not tech here. Go ahead to the first station. We'll start whenever you're ready. Break a leg. Disqualification. Stop! Time's up! Next station! Hold a new one. I'm telling you, man, the breeze whoosh it threw it all off. Oh, where's the drink, brother? There it is. Uh, what the hell is this? Rubbing Who alcohol. Cares? Shoot! You got 12 seconds. You cross that line and shoot, you're out of the game. But I said my fingers slipped. You had your chance, Ruth. And oh, stop! Next hurt. station! Right, easy enough. You said there was, what, four stations, right? Down the hatch! To Gunner! Ugh. 
You got 12 seconds. Go, go, go! Hey, go that line. We don't like cheaters here. Stop, last station! This revolver is like... It's not even like a point target thing. It seems like it's like, a, like almost like a shotgun, like spread. One more round. Drink. Oh, I'm a, I'm a throw up. Oh, so warm. What else would it be in this heat? Shoot. 12 seconds. Don't forget the line. One two over and you're gone. Time's up. That's it. Go check your stats. Is that it? Ugh. Ouch. <laughs> gonna lie I'm impressed you know Sixth Street could use a few more shooters like you sure Gunner'd like to meet you take you under his wing probably I'm flattered really but I gotta say no not for me understood we had a little fun today drank together but I see you on the street later it won't make no difference you're either with us or against us. I'll keep that in mind. And for the winner, with Gunner's congratulations. Woohoo! And USA! And USA! Appreciate it. And now, let's dream! Six Street! Six Street! We have to pay the price! Yeah, so I just got some kind of, it looked like a legendary we rifle. Uh, I don't use rifles really, so doesn't really matter all that much to me, but I do want to see it at least. Oh, it's not even a, uh, it is an iconic, so I could probably store that, right? It's a smart chemical crit. Yeah, like poison damage weapon. That's pretty cool. It's a decent bit of work here on uh, on the side missions and stuff. I got my full build kind of, you know, rolling right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back to base here. I'm going to store this weapon and we're going to start. We're going to do a little bit of main story. New to your YouTube channel. Um, I like all of your channel. I like the games. I appreciate that, Brian. Seriously, man. I appreciate you being here. Let's go store this bad boy. In the event of acid rain, those with respiratory issues are advised to remain. Wow, this Nova's not a bad gun either. I'm going to sell it, but. So, does that one show up? Guess not. This 
I wanted to see... Wanted to check check out that Netrunner jacket. It looked really, really cool. Oh, that's yeah, that, that thing's pretty damn sick. I mean it's sixth street, but I like my vest, it still kills it keeps me feeling like more assassin-y. Not as cool as I thought it was going to look. I thought I was going to have more like a Count Dracula type of appearance, you know what I mean? Alright, Sakamura, let's do it. So let's see, where is he at? I can mount that other katana. Yeah, uh, the what, 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 yeah, which one was it called? This one here, the Satori. Yeah, I can mount that one. I'm fine. Is that out? Army Gal with the gifted membership. Seriously, thank you so much. And George with the gifted brother. Thank you, thank you, man. You guys are awesome. Everybody who received one of those memberships, welcome to the fam. Let's get the story rolling a little bit. What kind of pants are those? They're like, they even turn into shoes. Sit. I'm over here looking at people's. Oh, bro, it looks good. Oh man, he eats. He, he got, like, what is that? Pizza, pasta, kebabs, and a big ass burger. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. Assault Viper, thank you for the gifted brother. Seriously, thank you so much, man. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I've been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corporal agents. You know the kind. 
I do possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out along with the outcasts easily. Or have you forgotten? Hmm. <sighs> Is that all? Really should be going. Wait. Yorino Murasaka shit looks must so good. answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorino to his knees. The only thing I need... Just the word of a merc. I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here, and I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Listen. No, tough guy, you listen. It's people like you two that have brought this country to its knees. Taken our land, our jobs, our fucking dignity. But I own this place and here I decide. So finish your tea and get the fuck out. Hey, um... Bro, you just got punked, dude. I would've fucking shot him. I'd have beat his ass. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. I appreciate it, Joey. 
Uh, when do I plan on playing this play? Um, I don't exactly know what day. Probably within the next day or two, There's though. There's no time to waste, B. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. Might even be tomorrow. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No, she saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The woman is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Yorinobu Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Damn. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Okay, so let me see. I want to check my missions that I have here. So we got Ghost Town and Automated Love. So this is to hunt down um, Miss Paca, Evelyn, and that's to go after um, Rogue. Oh, so yeah, I had a question. So uh, if I do all 17 Cyber Psychos, is there like a cool reward? And then the same thing with the Fixers, because I, I noticed that the Fixers have... Um, well, this is that Fight Club. I might go do the rest of this. 
Um, I noticed that the fixers have, like, a number. Let, let me see, where is it? Where's Regina? So, friends, I've done five out of 23 gigs. When you finish the 23 gigs, you get, like, a special reward or something like that, or... Is it just, you just finished the gigs? But we do got some fights that we could go do real quick. What is that? But I want to hold a clearance sale, no junk, pre merge your own be problems. the fixtures you do all right cool oh so regina's not a true fixer got you but she just hit me with some gigs though Electronica Logos right there. The you SB gotta fight here. You buck. In the flesh. <laughs> Look at right you making my wallet wet. Yo, I'm putting all I got against you. Hmm. No lack in confidence, I see. And I'll show you why. This arm's military issue. Titanium bones, carbon fiber. Could punch a hole through a tank if I wanted. So, we got a deal? Was that piss I smell dripping down your leg? No time for shut Calm down with the deep sleep break. Oh, I don't have enough Get money. So we need six we need six thousand to even do this mission. This rifle. Grad, as you said. Where'd you get it? A little souvenir from when I served. Why? Just curious. Heard that was a limited series. Only 300 manufactured. KGB issue. Well, well. I see I got a gun enthusiast on my hands. But we ain't here to talk iron. We're here to break bones and crack chrome. So, you accept my offer or not? Damn, we gotta have 18k. Alright, so we're gonna have to come back for this guy. Bet that 18,000 in a sniper. So we're gonna have to go around and just do some work before we can do that. It's all good. If I clear up a couple gig areas, maybe two two gig areas or a side quest area, we should be okay. See you around. I really and tell your sister I said hi. Of course. 
What do you sell? I ever see her again. Anything you can see. New job. Bob's been tough on her lately. Need a little pick me up. You got Chromanticore. The hell you want the swill for, boss? Heard some batches even glow in the dark. Why drink poison when you can drink Spunky Monkey? Way better than. You freeze up a lot. One second, boss. Brad? Hey, Brad! Listen, boss, you help me out? Kids on the block been up my ass lately, and you seem real tough. Gotcha. Might as well, since I'm here. Lead the way. Thanks, boss. All right, follow me. You lost your minds? Get your grubby paws off my bike! You think we're playing around? This is a small price to pay for fucking treason. You still can't let go of that? Shana made a choice. You should be proud of her. Proud? That bitch sold out to a fucking corp! Now it's time for payback! Fuck you want! This ain't none of your biz! Oh, bring you another corporal job. rat. Relax. Don't got any beef with you. For now. What happened? Your new pal here talked his sister into taking a job at Zetatech. Bitch just leaves and doesn't even say bye. We've been running these streets ever since we were kids. Tyron, thank you so much for Hacking that, street vending machines, fucking up corpos. It's what we live for. Then what? Now she's too good for us? Double-crossing cunt! You listen to yourselves? And how stealing from poor folk like me gonna make things better? Shana's a grown-ass woman now. You should follow her example. You're getting back a corpse by stealing from a street vendor? Says a lot about you. Now back the fuck away from him. Or you'll do what? I could break your jaw, fracture your skull, shoot you. The possibilities are endless. You care so much about a rat fucking traitor. And you can die together. Yo, Brad, ain't that... Yo, that's the dude everyone been talking about. When they came back from the dead. You know how many gunks he's off already? And I ain't even talking solo. Shit. He following us? Have they lost their damn minds? Thanks, boss. That ought to teach him. Just between the two of us, you really proud your sisters joined the Zeta Tech fold? Look, that I know what you're them. thinking. Corps are exploiting us. They're turning us into slaves. That's what people say, no? Well, guess what? They never have to worry about putting food on table. Me and Shana take whatever we can get. She's probably running on neuro stims. You're not worried? Hey, you can't have it all. And even if we did, nobody get off their ass and do anything. Well, when you put it that way. Now that that's over, you okay? Who, me? Couldn't be better. All talk and no action. <laughs> Maybe they should go get a job. Fucking parasites. Well, at least Shana can focus on her job now. No one in the family ever got as high up as her. Anyway, stop by whenever you're around. I throw in a nice discount for you. Will do, boss. Thanks. See, did he pay us at all? I don't think we got any money from that. Yeah, we didn't get no money. That kind of sucks. It is what it is.
come across like the mother load of missions, you know? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! the finances guys not personal I'm just a broke bitch All right Oh, you don't just no no no. Oh, fuck that. Oh, this is Edge Runners. Damn, Edge Runners is gory like that? The man had a mantis blade come out of his knee? Is that sand devastating? Hi, hi. Need to fry a system fast. Freak sporting military great eyes. Meaning that our tech is it. Get to it. Well, they, the net runner fried him. Those cops were no joke.
What in the fuck? Shoot a message over to Evelyn, see if she even unable to deliver message recipient may be temporarily unavailable, of course. So we're gonna ask this guy about David Martinez. Hey, move found a strange ex uh lady on the street, Mac Tax taking down some cyber cycle under a big hollow goldfish, then and the scroll the name David Martinez popped up. I mean anything to you. Uh, you fire up every sketch BD you find on the street. <laughs> but yeah, um, Cyber Psycho attack sounds familiar, but never dug into it. Too deep, pretty big mess and all. If you kick the hornet's nest, why you want to join his fan club, get his autograph? Hey, yeah, sounds like something I want. I have to say, but I'll do some digging, let you know. All right, appreciate it, bro. All right, so he'll look into that David Martinez guy for us. Okay, so yet again, another quest that I can't do right now. Okay, and then the docks. Edge runners before I do that mission, or does it not miss matter? Watch it first. All right. I could do that. Let's see here. So we got this gig here. V, got a gig for you. One I'd rather not have. Bryce Stone, preacher on TV. His son was brutally murdered. Only way to catch this child killer is to get your hands on the original BD that recorded the whole thing. Yeah, you heard that right, unfortunately. More info attached. He was kidnapped and brutally murdered a few days ago, and they made a freaking brain dance out of it.
from above Man, that'd be cool if there was like a I, I don't know I don't think there's any like takedowns from the top I don't I don't know if that's a, like something you can actually do I actually haven't checked that the ninjutsu um well I did get another gotta get this one more level baby See, I want, I want aerial, or 
Yeah, so this is non-lethal aerial takedowns. Is there one for lethal? Oh, that's the only one? Yeah, well, that'll, that'll be nice, though. We could try that out. Trying to make sure we loot out this whole area. Make it get some good loot here though. in there. Cut! Right there. Right before he gets. What do you think? Else it'll feel like stabbing a pillow. Okay. Uh, pulling up by one frame. Augmenting pain feedback and ferrous aftertaste. Freddy, Freddy wakey, boy, gentlemen. you're an... what, what, What's happening? Security! Too far away to hear us. Well, let's not do anything rash here. We just tune and sell. We don't scroll. Honest to God. W we can figure this out. Uh, just tell us what you want, and we'll make it happen. Got a little family affair going here, huh? People want to buy, so we sell. Business is business. Looking for something in particular? You know, if, if it wasn't us, there'd be someone else. You, you want to see something really hard for Freddy! We just supply what Night City demands. That's all. XPD of a preacher's little boy. Murdered. Ring any bells? Uh, which preacher? I just got a fresh batch with boys. No clue who their daddies are. I'm gonna need more. Bryce Stone, circuit rider on News 54. Son was Bobby Stone, 12 years old when he died. Well, are we talking black, white, Chicano? Any identifying marks? Style of execution? Papa? I think I know the one he wants. BD-9430. Preacher's boy, who murdered him? Who gave you the XBD? Nobody gives us anything. They, they leave dead drops. We just go pick them up. Keeps things secure. For everyone involved. XBD was raw when you got it. Must have noticed something in the background, some kind of clue. Reflection in the mirror, tattoo, anything. Our, our, our only concern is with imperfections, N not who makes them. Kindly hand it the fuck over. Now. All right, please, just relax. Just take it. Freddy! Sir? It's just behind us on the shelf. BD-9430. This guy, he, his son is a sick fuck, man. He doesn't even care. That's it. That's the one. Just, just take it.
Freddy! Frederick, answer me right now! My only boy, stay with me! Don't do this, don't make me do this on my own, please. Oh, that felt kind of savage, guys. I don't know. I didn't. Th I didn't know if the game would actually let me do that, and it, and then it did, and it actually like. I didn't I didn't expect the dialogue guys if I'm being honest Got some company down here Some money on the roof I mean, realistic, they knew what they were doing was wrong, guys. They knew what they were doing was wrong. That kid was 12. All right, put this in perspective, guys. 12 years old. 12 years old. And then, and then turning that shit into a brain dance for people to experience. Murdering a 12-year-old? Should have killed him too. We needed loot, guys. Did what we needed to do, though. Drop points over here. Great work, V. Let's hope it helps trace the motherfucker who scrolled the thing. Gig's closed. For sure. I wouldn't mind taking part in uh, that hunt. So I did get a new sniper that I'm going to keep. Uh, it's better than my tech sniper that I currently have. This is actually a pretty good rifle, too. So we'll sell that. Good bit of guns. Look at that.
Forty-two point zero. So we'll keep the forty-two point five. Thirty-six. One forty-four. Reduce the stamina cost of melee attacks by five percent. That's not bad. Uh, the only thing is, I like the block resistance I get on the other suit I'm wearing. Okay, I'm just shy of the 18,000 we need for that mission. So let's go check out the side op here. Once we get that 18,000, we'll be able to go and do that, uh, that other fight. This arm, it is not mine. None of this me. Cold, dead metal. All of it! What? What have I done to deserve this? To fall victim to Hinsa? It itches. Should it itch? Why do I feel anything? It, what happened? It is nothing Your but I... They look half done. Done or not done. It is of no importance. A bhikkhu does not defile his body through cyber modification. It is against the Platimoksha. And yet... They knew about this. For me? Yeah. Hold on. Somebody forced you. Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. Look at you. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? Makes no sense. Who go and do something like this? And why? We were out begging for alms when... when they approached us. They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked... more machine than human. They told us they would improve us like tools. Maelstrom. How about your brother? He still with him? Yes. I was first. Then, they were trying to decide how, how to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please, help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like, like I have. What's in it for me? I don't work for free, you know. I cannot offer anything more than my gratitude. Just this once. Please, make an exception. The universe shall compensate you. Fine. I'll help. But just so you know, things might get ugly. Maelstrom doesn't mess around. There must be some other way. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. He I does do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. A monk in distress. They should include this in your epic. What are you gonna do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead? I wish you'd drop dead. Loud and clear, you don't need to yell. What's up? Doing a little competition. Shoot, prizes and all. You know, over here with the range. <laughs> yeah, that'd make sense. Well, you in? Ha! <laughs> 
I didn't think big parties were your thing. Yeah, well, it ain't a big one, but, you know, running low on heads. Gotta bring in the clients, attract them and shit. Could try selling iron straight from the factory. Skip the whole part where you tinker for hours on each little shooter. V, my dignity, please. Sure, I'm in. When? Well, uh, right now. We'll wait on you. See ya. So this monk is not making things easy. First off, he's not paying us. It is what it is. You know, I, 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 what happened to him and his brother is pretty messed up. But then he says to not kill anybody. Seriously, bro? I mean, I guess I could equip my non-lethal... Cyberware. Yeah, that's why I figured. I mean, that's why I did the mission because I'm like, I can come here. Get some good loot out of it, you know what I mean? Especially if there's a decent bit of guys in here. I didn't do the death from the above thing. Do I gotta hit a button? Anderson, what's up, brother? Nah, we're just putting him to sleep. No kills. I respect the monk's decision. Oh, shit. Fenrir? Oh, that's deals thermal damage too. Okay, so it seems like the brother didn't get any modifications. Not him? Oh, I gotta defeat everybody, okay. I want to learn how to do this a death from above thing.
this. Do not do this! Implantations against my beliefs. Please! I do not want them. Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So... What are you doing here? What happened? Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be... funnier. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. One... One of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Thankfully, did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? Was walking by, caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. <laughs> nah. The truth, your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. From the bottom of my soul, thank you. I'm especially grateful nobody was killed. May you continue on the path of peace. What compels these monsters is of no consequence. It's not up to us to judge what they deserve. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're sure. just gonna keep doing it, though. That, that's what I don't get, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're going around grabbing random monks off the streets and destroying their bodies. Like, just randomly, you know what I mean? And th these guys still want to spare them. I don't, I don't get it. Makes no sense. How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Nice City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be, they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. Yeah, so I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First, I must catch my breath. And then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Look who's taken the righteous path. If you're so afraid of killing, maybe you should have become a monk instead of a merc. Killing isn't the solution to everything. No, and this if you want to change the world, this. there's always a price to be paid. As for these chrome fucks, you think they got all this gear by sitting around going, um... If they had enough to spare on monks, then surely they don't need all of it. I'll let him go. As you guys know, it's not really my style, but hey, he requested nobody to die, so nobody died. Okay, so how much money are we sitting on now? We got nineteen thousand plus a bunch of stuff to sell. So let's make this happen. Like to buy some iron. So buy some. This dude's rude as hell, man. We're gonna go store that.
Okay, so we got more than enough now to do that. Uh, so what kind of guns does this guy have? So, oh, he's got a legendary tech sniper. Still not as good as the one I have. I need some stronger guns, though, man. Like, my handgun, I can kill somebody, like, pretty quick with it. If from stealth. Like, I can generally one-shot them, but once I'm out of stealth, like, that handgun is, like, a wet noodle. It doesn't do shit. Yeah, let's get that fighting mission back up. Aggie with the membership. Thank you so much. Welcome to the fam. I appreciate you, man. How you doing today? All right, so was this where that mission was? I don't remember exactly where the guy was. We had to get this sniper rifle. Let's say my, my build is mainly close quarters combat, like, you know, sword, super, super close up. But um, it's, it's always nice to have a sniper. I, I don't know. I feel like a sniper is always, always useful. Oh, Yeah, I appreciate that. Seriously, man. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and save because you guys gotta remember if you if you fail these you fail. So these are ones you're definitely gonna want to save, scum. I don't know. I'll raise you instead. Told you already. I'm laying out all I got. I'll toss in the sniper. I mean, that is, unless you're scared. Of you? I don't give a fuck about you. Done. Rifle's on the table. Follow me. You ready? Not too scared, are you, Buttercup? <laughs> I look forward to it. Like that? You like getting your ass beat, huh? Ah! Yeah. Ah! Ah! Like I thought. Took you for a marshmallow. What? I was trying to shoot, I was trying to throw the fair one with him, guys. That dude hits like a freaking brick shit house, man. Yeah, actually, I, I don't know. I'll raise you instead. Told you already. I'm laying out all I got. I toss in the sniper. I mean, that is, unless you're scared. Of you? 
I don't give a fuck about you. Done. Rifle's on the tape. Follow me. Yeah, I think I remember this fight from the last playthrough too, Caspi. I think I actually had to go and get like gorilla arms and I had to put like it was a big deal. Ooh, actually, let me use. Thank you for bringing up the consumables because I keep forgetting to use these damn things. Some of them are quite good. Like this one, I get a 20% uh, health boost. Um, stamina boost. Whoops, did not mean to drink the beer. I'm actually going to save right here. You ready? Not too scared, are you, buttercup? <laughs> I look forward to it. Like that? You like getting your ass beat, huh? Gun ah! <laughs> Like I thought. This dude's no joke, man. He hits hard. He definitely hits hard. Got this. You ready? Not too scared, are you, Buttercup? <laughs> I look forward to it. Like that? You like getting your ass beat, huh? Gun oh. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, shit. Like I thought. Took you for a marshmallow. He hits hard, guys. Like, he hits hard. You ready? Not too scared, are you, Buttercup? I look forward to it. Like that? You like getting your ass beat, huh? I'll rip that tongue out. Come on. Hand over the rifle. Oh, my rotten meat. Get him! Here we go! Thank you. 
Needs finessing. Huh? That was one of the nut jars that don't open, chat. Like, that dude was such a sore loser, man. Damn, what happened to his side? So now we got that new sniper rifle too here. Uh, what? Full potential at body 20. So what does that mean? I can't even use it until body 20? That doesn't make sense. Oh, it's just not full power. I gotcha. Okay, cool. I was like, dude, what the hell? Increase crit chance mod. So I could rock that because I got this knife, got my handgun, I could use have the sniper, and then uh, mainly because I have the mono wire that's replacing my sword. Uh, I'm still kind of thinking about checking out the mantis blades though. I mean, I know the mono wire is just strong, but the mantis blades, they gotta be good too, right? Do you guys know where you can buy some really good mantis blades? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys respond real quick, but I'm looking for... Don't buy, you can get free legendary mantis blades? From where? From a cyber psycho?
I mean, I can, we can go hunt down some cyber cycles. I got two right here. That's in city center downtown. That's Corporal Plaza. Guys, I want to thank you. We got almost 500 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. What do you mean I disappeared instantly? And I think I just think you guys weren't paying attention. But there's there's no superpowers over here. Maybe maybe I activate my my sand <laughs> my my sandy. Yeah, so you said I legit disappeared mid-sentence? So it's one of these cyber psychos here in downtown Corporal Plaza? Okay. So there's two cyber cycles right here. We can knock them both. I, uh, and there's a uh, gig over here. What is it? Yeah, we can fast travel right there. Okay. So I got a question for those of you guys that played this game, uh, because like I said, my first time playing this game, I played a legitimate sniper build. I had a um, assault rifle and I was using Johnny's handgun. That was like my, my build, but I mainly sniped everything. One shot headshots all day. Um, I didn't really use the sand, sand devastine. I didn't use blades. I didn't use any of that stuff. Uh, how many, like, what builds do, do you, like, post your build, like, in the, in the in the chat right now. Like, were you, like, a hacker? Uh, did you use, like, the ninja build? Like, I'm, like, like, what kind of build did you play when you played Cyberpunk? It seems like the hacker build is pretty popular. Netrunner? Which is crazy because some of you, like a lot of you guys, are saying that the the net the net runner the stealth hacker is OP, but it's like I feel like I'm OP. How can you like you're saying that the stealth hacker is more OP than the build I'm using? I feel like it doesn't get any. <laughs> Grace says, "Yo, everything is OP, man." He said you literally just look at them and they all die. <laughs> you just walk in and your enemies die. I mean, that does sound kind of OP or kind of powerful. That's for damn sure. Right, let's go ahead and get the cyberware, our non-lethal cyberware equipped. Hey, 
a little bit ago, a tiger claw called for help, attacked by a certain Aki. At least that's what they call the rogue tiger hunter. He's been picking off his own in silent but spectacular fashion. My gut says this Aki had a cyber-psychotic break, but I'd like to know for sure. Don't kill him if you don't have to, and don't forget to watch your back. Where are you hiding? Ah! Where the fuck did he go? What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at the Kompiki Plaza. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Fine. Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Oh wow, the damage on that is pretty big too. The thing I like about the sword that we have though is the electrical damage. But this physical damage is off the charts, man. the mission because I, I killed him too fast. I think I was supposed to fight him again right here. All right, we'll try to reload. I'll try to not kill him as quick this time.
The hell is this? You said the blades were supposed to be in this chest here? Yeah, I didn't I didn't get any out of there, I don't think. I didn't get any blades. You actually started as a slasher on your first play. It wasn't as up cause you started from the bottom. Imagine that last brawl without the speed. Rolling on the floor laughing. Reason, thank you, thank you for the super chat. Brother. That's what I just try to do right there. I just try to fight him without the speed. Uh, they patched that drop to buy from Doc Ryder, Ripper Doc West. Oh, so you can't get it here no more? Got you. Let me make sure I got my non-lethal. Okay, we do. Oh. We'll show you pain. Oh. A, le like a legendary katana on him. With the new boss today, skills leave a lot to be. See, that guy's build was my build. Like, I absolutely loved it. He could go stealthy, had a sword. He was me, chat. It's like fighting myself. Make it a name. Got to go. So there's new fresh units for rent. Oh, okay. So new places we could live. The Phantom of Night City. He's alive, but managed to not give in to the air of murder. Uh, people said that they patched it, that you could no longer get those blades for free. Katana that we just got to. Oh, and it looks sick, man. Chemical damage instead of electrical. It's not, honestly, not that. It's not better than the scalpel, really. And this machete is absolutely just a monster. Like, just the raw damage this thing does is actually kind of insane. Hey. 
Oh, go. Uh, it's slower though, the attack speed on it is slower. That's way slow. Uh, what's the next stream for today? I believe we might be playing some GTA tonight. Can you talk? It is important. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The speed does matter in some cats because it slows down your Plaza. attack speed. I have little hope that he will be convinced. But it will be a start. Uh, you, you actually do attack slower. Fine. Where's the meat and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. OV. Got this client, Larry Fangorn. Says his partner Adam elbowed him out of his bits. Club called empathy. Larry wants back in. Hey, we're here to help, right? What can I say? Club industry's always been a meat grinder. Attach the deeds for you. Has to be right close by. So what Ripper Dot can you buy legendary mantis blades off of then? Avoid getting into combat is optional. Find the subnet's main computer. Can I avoid getting into combat, guys? Should just be allowed in here, right? What you looking for? Hardcore BD? Maybe something softer? You don't got any real girls? We employ dancers here. No joy girls, no dolls. I heard this was a fun club. I can offer you a booth with a private dance or a hard BD. Excellent choices, both. I want the real deal. Not How much do they cost? You. Well, it just so happens your girl just got yeah, bro, get the fuck over it, man. Welcome. Please go right ahead. Not so fast, little man. No weapons allowed. We're running a civilized operation. Wasn't so hard. Welcome to Empathy. Ripper Dock in Haywood. Okay, so we got no weapons whatsoever. I oh, I still have my mono wire though. Standing there like a damn robot, bro. Thirty 
35k? Man, that's expensive. Fine. Fine. Here, take a track of this. Don't be up. Not here, Jesus. The bad. Wait, what? You can play the arcade games? Like like GTA? For real? Oh shit, so you can't touch him at all. Wait, is that Geralt and Roach? <laughs> it's called the Roach Race. Like, who the fuck scored 3,354 points? Like, really? Thank you for playing Road Trace. We hope you had fun. If you want to try again, remember these prizes waiting for you for the best runs. You broke into the top 10. Time to get serious. Keep trying. Premium prizes await for those who break into the top five. Wait, they actually reward you guys for getting a high score on those games. Gunner. is off limits.
We probably could have just hacked our way right in up here. If you got like double jump, you could probably jump right up this. That's too high. Well, maybe from here actually. Yeah. Then we could have just freaking come right through this door. Oh, I gotta get my guns back. got some good money now guys where the hell did we get all that money from i knew we had some some money building up but i didn't think we had that much i'm sitting at forty-seven thousand. it's a pretty good handgun here Power assault. Power assault rifle. What? D reduce recoil. Increase ricochet damage. Increase ricochet. I don't understand these ricochet shit. I don't even know what the hell that's talking about. That's a nice Lexington right there. It's actually better than the gun we have. Overture, rare model, not that great. Let me get back home real quick. Want to stash up some of these uh, guns. Shoot the wall? What do you mean shoot the wall? I'm like, why can't I bring my guns out? I gotta re-equip them. After that fight. Bullets can ricochet off surfaces. Oh, I got a new knife, too. That's what's up. The punk knife. Wow, that does some really good damage, man. What? This thing is nasty, man. I wonder if you could just use the knife. 
instead of like the katana. Alright, let me see about this, uh... So you said shoot the wall? Oh. Shot the wall. Oh, you only without a surprise. Got you, got you. Well, I don't want to, like, have the cops come after me or whatever, like, right here in the middle of downtown. So is ricocheting bullets like a whole, like, mechanic that I didn't even know was a thing? That's a nice ass car. There's also ricochet bullets. Yeah, the smart. I, I'm, 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 I'm a fan of the, the smart guns. That, that one I know about. I didn't know about ricocheting bullets though. Hey, look. Oh, interesting. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked, or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? There's a perk that shows you the directions where bullets will ricochet. on misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe I ask them both. That's kind of cool, guys. That's not a thing. Wait, wait. So you're telling me I could, like, aim a bullet at the wall, have it, like, shoot an angle and hit somebody that's, like, behind, like, on the other side of a wall or something? No, dude. How come nobody ever talks about it? I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, I see that one showed up there. Do want to take my uh, well, that one? I'm surprised this one doesn't have a spot on the wall. That one? Neither does that one. Will I buy a house in game? I didn't even know that there was house buying in the game. Um, but yeah, I don't see why not. So we can go with this Lexington here. Burn chance, headshot damage multiplier, shock damage, crit chance. I don't know. Can you? I don't think you could suppress those though, can you? Oh, you can! Oh, shit. But it's considered a power assault rifle. That's not a pistol. Yeah, so it doesn't matter anyways. I need it to be a pistol because I'm specced into pistols, so. Got our new Lexi, Lexington there. Yeah, 
Okay, so for right now, we're going to go ahead and... that that I'll grab out the sniper now I'm gonna try the knife um to see if it's viable like melee And uh, I want to buy some mantis blades. Yeah, I, I, I checked on the neighbor. Yeah, we we, we got them all squared away. But soak in that sun while you can. There's a cold front moving in. Prepare for cooler conditions as we head into the weekend. Oh, here it is. Okay, so let's see. Which Ripper, what was that? You said Haywood, right? Ripper, Ripper Dock and Haywood, you could buy the, uh... Japan Down, Northwood, Downtown, Wellsprings, The Glen, Harvo, Rancho, West Haywood? So this guy here. Closest we can go is El Coyote. We'll have to drive the rest of the way. Or no. Yeah. I said I have the mono wire, which I'm an absolute huge fan of. It, it's it's really really awesome. But I also want to try out the uh, mantis blades. How many different Ripper docks there are in this freaking game? I thought there was like two. Like, like literally the first time I played, I thought there was literally like two, Great. two or three. So as I was saying, and I thought they were all the same thing, just in different spots. You mind taking a look at my Chrome? Sure. Make yourself comfortable. Okay, here we go. So arms. There they are. Legendary Mantis Blades. How is the... How is the damage difference between the Mono Wire and the Mantis Blades so big? Like, what's the downside? Like...
Mantis Blades attack faster? Is that what it is? But it's this says 2.28, and this says 2.68. So it's like barely a difference. The mono wire is just super OP. Is that what it is? Yeah, look, I got the legendary gorilla arms here. Legendary mantis blades. I'm gonna. I'm buying. I'm buying the mantis blades. It is what it is, guys. We're we're gonna spend that money. Get those. Um. He does have the armor mod here. Let's grab that. That's plus 200 armor to us. Increase attack speed by 15%. Let's do it. Alright, so we should be a straight monster now, guys. We should be an actual monster. Okay, I'm, I'm tracking. They are ridiculously fast. They are super, super fast. All right, let's go check out this Cyber Psycho. That's right here. There's two of them nearby, actually. Get our non-lethal. Um, look at that. Our non lethal. So oh, we had our non lethal on this whole time. Okay. All right. Yep. Add thermal damage to the man. I don't even know where, where do you get thermal? I don't. I don't have any mods yet for. I probably have to buy those from like a melee vendor, right? Coming from an auto shop, sounds like a series of explosions. So traps. No, you have to be non-lethal because that's what the quest lady required. She wants all these cyber cycles alive. Let's see. So, Gaston has a Sandy. 
can dodge bullets so you can't shoot them, has charge jump and combat stims. This dude even has the mind, the roof's mind over here. Shit. Where they're Ugh. Really? Get the fuck up. Why does it keep don't shoot me off the roof like that? So, do we test out our new mantis blades? It's got some kind of I think that was a a mod Man, this dude got screwed over, man. Let's right, see if we can find more intel here. A lot of mines. I don't know if these mines are like... They definitely look splody to me. Definitely explode, you guys. They say I'm using uh, that lift shot without a license, really? Yeah, that's how they get you guys. 
At night, from the den located above the fifth bamboo, the fox goes on a hunt. So, amateur merc, yes, this is <laughs> I'm using a burner via the secure network. All right, so he sent him, but he's trying to be all coded and shit. Gina spawned. Auto shop owner was on a rampage, but I managed to put him to put him to sleep. If this game is worth buying, I, I absolutely. Yeah, I mean, this game is phenomenal to me. If you like the cyberpunk setting, um, you, you'll absolutely love it. I mean, I think even if you don't like cyberpunk setting, it, it's it's still pretty damn fun to me. Yo, you could with this guys, you could really get these blades doing some stupid damage. So increase damage with blades by three percent for every one percent of health the enemies damage. So if I get them down to fifty percent health, that's what hundred and fifty percent more damage. It's just as they get lower on health, they just boom, boom, you're just chunking. That's like some real big execute type damage right there too. Yeah, that that's that's huge. Huge. Mm. All those mines. anything because I don't have a I don't have a cyber deck installed yeah they I know that with the new update they're gonna be reworking the skill trees I wonder if they're gonna like hardcore nerf shit well, it's a single player game so I don't see why they would hmm. oh the sign Most of the people's crowded at the sour crime return. Okay. I mean, they never really, they never ever patched any of the super OP Witcher build, so. Finger on the trick. Damn. Want to try out the knife? So she also has a sandy. <laughs> Holy fuck, she's fast. Oh. 
Yeah, knife is still pretty effective too. Look at those legs, man. Yo, she was crazy fast. See, it kind of feels like like when you're fighting like the normal people, like you feel super overpowered when you're using Sand Devastine, but then when you're fighting another person who has sand devastine you're like okay yeah, i guess it's fair game because they're super freaking fast man it's bright I'll probably actually uh, give me some light on this side. I'll probably... <laughs> oh, but guys, uh, we ordered this. Got my uh... it was for my for my office. Looks really nice though. It's so bright. really bright I'm glad it has so many settings though all right where the hell is the cyber psychos there it is I mean, the Mantis Blades are absolutely just, like, I just love the, the aesthetic, and they have this, like, charge, like, leap attack. Uh, obviously, the Mono Wire just does insane amounts of damage and has stupid range. Gun still needs time to recover after the transplants. She killed her own sister on her wedding day. I just got another Sand Devastine here. The Saigon Sisters. Oh, was this a movie? Oh, I think it was a movie scene. It wasn't like an actual wedding.
Yeah, so we just got this. Uh, well, Santa increased crit damage by 10%. That's huge. So I think I could go reflex 18 now, which will give me access to... No, I need 20 for this, right? I might hold off on that because right now my blades are just so insane anyways. I'm going to start working on other aspects. Like, we, we could probably use a little bit more cool. Uh, I could definitely use a bit more technical ability. Eagle Eye with the super chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great night tonight. So I think I might go ahead and just put it into tech right now because we got to get legendary crafting at some point. I mean, realistically, it doesn't matter because I have the freedom to to get rid of my points. I could build my build however I want, then say I need to craft something, I could just reset my points and then like put it all into crafting and then craft what I need, then take the points out. Like that's the cool thing about like having this is being able to like move the build around. So I guess we really don't have to focus on that at all. Not I'm um, thinking about it. So we'll just go 18 there. Good to go here. So let's message Regina. Cinnamon, ro cinnamon rolls for sure. But is that what you're making right now? I'll just run and grab it. Or order it. Huh? Oh. Keep doing that, man. See you around. Hey, Quantum, I'm glad you're enjoying the Remember, Cyberpunk streams. I'm having a blast playing this for real. It really is good. All right, so he's got a message here.
5,000 dollars for for that all right so the missions are starting to pay a bit more which is great Let's see here. So what else is in this area? We'll head up here. And then, uh... No, we gotta fight here. Let's go do that. about earlier about um yeah the rain effect is super good i mean look at that shit on the ground guys like it, it looks quite nice you think the rain looks quite nice man uh, <laughs> and then somebody said earlier about being in first person on the bike like yeah that shit looks phenomenal like you look you look down you can see the rain puddles in first person and the you know, it, it does look really, really good, but the problem with driving in first person, um, stream quality wise, is it, it disorientates people. And um, it can sometimes make the stream hard to watch when you're moving at really, really high rates of speed in first person. That's why I kind of turned it off, even though I do think it, it looks better. said you were looking for work and i found it no this isn't work this dude's car. you ever it's thought nice. what would happen to us if we lost you lost all our money either you change this up or i change the locks and she is pregnant as hell but how she just got her pregnant belly all up in the rain like that like <laughs> like she got the futuristic crocs on just standing out in the rain with her belly just getting rained on. But you gotta protect that baby, lady. That's not how it's done, guys. You say, Czar, I'm here for my fight. Yeah, that's me. Toughest equal to puta in the Glen. Mm-hmm. And the worst father in Night City. Nikayla, baby! I know what I'm doing. You gotta I'm not trust talking to you. First you spent a fortune on Chrome, and now. Ugh. I give up. Beat some sense into him for me, okay? He needs a good lesson. Nikila! Nikila, wait for fuck's sake! Listen, Sounds I like need travels. a lot of scratch and fast. That's why I'm only taking serious wagers. I'm putting my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. 20,000, bro? I'm all for it, brother, because I'm going to save scum till I beat you, bro. Okay, I'll match it. You good? All good. Let's go. So bare hands only, right? No pulling any mono wires or mantis blades out of your ass? Right. I asked because the last guy I fought tried to surprise me with long spurs. Anyway, oh, well, you ready to start? We're gonna fight right here with all these kids. Yep, ready to rumble. Careful now, I don't fuck around. Too 
really. Oh. All right, he put hands on us a little bit there. Yep. Ready to rumble. Careful now. I don't fuck around. for me. Man's got a baby on the way, chap. Got a baby on the way. Pleasure doing biz. I got rubber to burn. Da mierda. She was a beauty. Ray, let this be a lesson, brother. Okay? Just calm down for Christ's sake. Ain't my problem, bro. <laughs> Ain't my problem, dude. Yeah. Hey, listen, listen, listen. You can't say it's savage. No, Chad, listen. Listen. This is what he wanted. It's an addiction. It's a problem. All right? I had to step in and show him that that behavior is not okay. If, 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 I kept, if I gave him a handout or a second chance, like, I guarantee this is not, he's not going to learn. Exactly, Casper. How else would he learn? This was that, he's got a baby on his way. Like, this was that learn, life lesson for him to learn not to mess around. So now him and his very pregnant girl are going to have to walk home in the rain with no money. Now 
maybe he knows not to uh, huh? put it all on the line. Let me check that. Is there another fight? I think there's one more fight, right? What mission is that? Pool on the hill? Oh, about all the graffitis. Got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, here it is. Okay, so there's another fight. I mean, look at this car we got, though, guys. Like, it's... This shit is clean. I thought it was green at first, but now I can see it's gold. Let's head out to this fight. Down over this way. last time I don't think I did all the fights oh that's a car I wanted guys the quadro 66 yeah that's the car I wanted the, the color is a little eh yeah I definitely never got this yeah I didn't think so
told it were. You think you can just get in for free? Out of my fucking way. What? You think you're some kind of hot shit you can get in anywhere? Nothing to think about. I know it. So step the fuck aside. All right. Fucking go. Of course we got some. Sell your court. War? Come on! The fuck you want? Well, who's next? Anyone else? Got a fight lined up here. That's so. Don't look familiar to me. You fresh meat here? Could say that. Well, watch yourself then. They don't like strangers here. One wrong look, and you're crawling through the gutter on busted legs. But you defeat me. I can vouch for you to the right folks. You could use the equipment, meet with the trainer, that kind of stuff. Uh, thanks. Appreciate it. I'd say you're welcome. But there's still the matter of defeating me. And full disclosure, I've never lost a fight. He's gonna fucking snap me in half. Monet, haven't started. Hey, you just gotta jump into it. Once you get in, it's not too bad. I'm gonna do the Delamain jobs. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do them, Casper. Say, who's running this club? Name's Logan Garcia. Used to be the best damn boxer in Night City. Who knows? Maybe in all the states. Not overselling it a bit there? Just watch him in action. You'll see. We not throwing any eddies on this match? No. When the cash comes in, it just muddles the whole sport. I'm here for fights, and the fights alone. I'm here for money. You say you've never lost. I say there's a first time for everything. Ha! Sorry to say, you'll be disappointed. Come on. Got any good tech under the hood? Sensory filters, rotors, boosted core? You're about to find out. Ha! Ah, true, true. All right then, shall we? Break hold, charge jump, and subdermal armor. Let's get to it. Good luck. You'll need it. Let's get to it. Good luck. You'll need it. Even with the sandy chat, it doesn't fucking matter. I won! I won! Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Yo, I might need Gorilla Fist for this.
Let's get to it. Good luck! You'll need it. Oh, we can just keep rematching her, because she doesn't take money, right? Let's get to it. Good luck! You'll need it. Yo, she knows how to fight against Sandy's. She like guards pretty damn well for the most part. I got her this time though. See how she guards? You gotta like break her guard. And then you can light her up. Oh, she's guarding that shit out of this. Hey, calm down. Calm down? You want fucking calm? Ah! Oh, I... Uh, I'm so sorry. You're not used to losing. I know. Mm-hmm. And I don't ever want to be. Listen, I'm done for today. But first, I'll make sure no one bothers you. Make yourself at home. Hey, come on. No chest pounding. Don't trust myself not to go egg. But what did we get? It's nothing like that. I just wanted to say thank you. For what? For a good, clean fight. No funny business, no tricks. 
It was a rare breath of fresh air. Hang in there, girl. You gave me that. Like the smile. Have you seen that? Oh, man. I don't want to give her any ideas. She'll snap us in half. So, that assault rifle actually does a lot of damage, man. It's kind of crazy. But we don't need it. Um... got a legendary uh neurotoxin knife level requirement 39 stun baton i didn't even I, I didn't even know there was blunt weapons in the game like this legendary steel pipe we can get some legendary uh Crafting specs here. What is this? Increased weapon attack speed. So these are melee mods. How many mod slots is, are on my... So two on that. So was that it for the, the fighting quest line? It just kind of ended. Oh, here we go. Take care of other things until Fred calls you back. Gotcha. Okay, so Fred's going to call us. I was like, man, that's kind of weird. It just ended like that. Let me see. So, purchase full vehicles. They want fifty-two thousand dollars for this um, that car that I wanted. Fifty-seven thousand. Eighteen thousand. It's all good. No, there's a real monster. Oh. Rain finally stopped. Now you guys can kind of see the color of the car a bit better, too. All right, let's see where we are right now. Well, these apartments are quite cheap. I wonder if we should buy apartments in, in other locations. That one's 55,000. Holy crap. 40,000. that one mission where I got that really fancy supercar from that cave I don't remember what I have to do to get that again but I remember it was like during a mission or something right we gotta open a container or something or go back and I don't remember exactly hmm. This gig location looks a little secure. V, we've got a 
client who needs help with some internal corpo skullduggery. Our boy wants dirt on his arch nemesis, one Matthias Stowe. What do you say? You got your shovel ready? Briefs attached. <laughs> Yeah, so we gotta go get some dirt, some blackmail. Robot Miltech. mean to kill that guy. Army, thank you so much for the gift that I really do appreciate it. He was just trying to do his job. So guys, I don't need to be a super fancy hacker to get in. Oh, thanks, man. I was able to get in just by uh, being super fast and sneaky. Two hundred. Hey. Remember in the beginning, guys, when I said that we were going to get a lot of story done today? I actually lied. We didn't get any story done. At all. I did... I did the mission where you get given the first two story missions to pro progress. And then... <laughs> and that was it. I lied.
We were just building our body up the whole stream. I hope you guys forgive me. Please forgive me. And I mean, it is kind of unforgivable. You know, I was like, oh, let's do some. I mean, we got a bunch of little mini stories in. But yeah, for the main story, we just went and talked to Takamura. He gave us our first two missions. Actually, we got an, another main mission here. Yeah, so now we got three main missions. To, but we haven't started any of them, so. Uh, you know, we got Judy's, um, Rogues, and Takamura. So, I don't know who I want to start with first. Maybe we'll start with Judy. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. But there it is, guys. We're going to end this episode here. Uh, I really appreciate everybody for coming and hanging out today. Um, we're going to be doing one more stream tonight. Not exactly. I think we're going to, I think it's GTA. So, um. I appreciate you all for coming and hanging out. It, it means so much, so much. Uh, but if you haven't, hey, smash that like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hey, consider subscribing. But next episode, we actually are going to jump into some story missions, though, because now that my build is kind of set, I got all the gear and stuff I want. Um, we'll progress some main missions. We'll definitely progress some main missions. So uh, thank you guys again. You all have a great rest of your night. If I don't see you in the next stream, and for everybody else, hey, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.